In this video, I'll show you how to create a composite variable using the tidyverse. First, we'll load the Haven and tidyverse packages. And then we'll load the Harry Potter dataset. And when we look at the Harry Potter dataset, we see that there are a number of items related to the five-factor personality a model. And what we're going to do is use the tidyverse to create a composite variable representing participant scores on the extraversion dimension. And when creating composite variables with the tidyverse, you, with the tidyverse, you must keep in mind that R likes to do things by column, not by row. So if you ask R for, the, for a mean, it will tell you the mean of a column, not the mean of a row. We want to create a mean score for each participant. And because each participant is represented by a row in our data set, we need to tell R to do things by rows instead of columns. And luckily, there's a simple command that does that for us. I'm going to create a new chunk of R code. I'm going to start by calling on dataset. And I'm going to pipe dataset or send dataset to the function called rowwise. And rowwise is the function that tells R to create or to calculate statistics by row instead of by column. Next, we use the mutate function to uh, create a new variable. And mutate creates a new variable and then adds it to the end of your table and end of your data set. First, we tell mutate the name of our new variable. I'm going to call this extraversion tidy because this is the extraversion scale that we created using the tidyverse. Then we tell mutate how to calculate the new variable. In that case, we'll use the mean function. We could also calculate a median, standard deviation, standard error. There are many other statistics um, that R can calculate um, very easily just by calling their function. In this case, we want to create the mean of the following columns. And so these are um, the variables in the data set that correspond to extraversion. Uh, and so it turns out that FFM underscore one, FFM underscore six, FFM underscore 11, FFM underscore 16, FFM underscore 21, FFM underscore 26, uh, FFM underscore 31, and F FFM underscore 36 are the eight columns in our data set that correspond to extraversion questions. Now, the one thing we can't forget to do, though, is to reverse code the variables that need to be reverse coded or reverse scored. And I determined which variables needed to be reverse scored by looking at the scoring rules for the scale. And these are the ones that the scoring rule said the reverse score. And so it turns out that FFM6 needs to be reverse scored. Um, FFM21 needs to be reverse scored. And um, FFM31 needs to be reverse scored. And the reason I'm just putting six minus in front of these column names is because uh, I know that uh, these questions were answered on a one to five scale. So saying six minus the whatever response the participant gave reverses that, uh, that the scoring for that question. So now that I have uh, the, all of the columns that correspond to extraversion and I have reverse coded the ones that need to be reverse coded, the last step is just to save this new data set. Um, and I'm going to save it back into data set because if you remember what happened here was we started with data set and then we added a new column to it. And so by saving this back in the data set, I will have um, a, 
uh, column, I, I will have the exact same data set um, table as before, but there will just be a new column at the end called extra version tidy that will correspond to the extra version scores. So let's run this code and see if that's what happens. Now when we look at data set and we scroll all the way to the right, we see a new column called extra version tidy and these scores correspond to participant and, uh, um, scores on the extra version dimension. This code is a little bit easier to understand, I feel, than using the score items function of the psych package, but the downside is that, at least as I've written it here, it can't handle NAs. So the score items function of the psych package imputes missing values, but the code I've just shown you doesn't calculate a value if any item is NA, as you can see by looking at the data here. So for this participant, uh, at least one of their um, answers to the eight extra version items was NA, or in other words, they didn't respond to one of the eight items um, in the extra version uh, scale. And so they get an NA. Whereas in the psych package, they would have imputed, or the psych package imputed a, a missing values there and was able to calculate a score for this participant. So this is a one difference between the psych package and uh, using the tidyverse as I've used it.